Everybody, EJ here and I'm here to introduce the brand new pixelated version 2 so let's just go over what is new in the new version of pixelated well we have a whole new interface before pixelate with just a single button that you could add pixel effects or remove it by just clicking a button this time we have a lot more functionality including the brand new the flicker tool that I want to cut to the chase and cover right now. So let's just go ahead and use the pixelate it. So we can set the pixel size, pixel perfect mode, which basically just rounds up or down to whole pixel numbers. So you don't have a uh, three and a half or something like that. So we don't have those middle values. We either have a size of three by three or four by four. We don't have anything in between. So we also have the color bit mode, so we can go to NES or 16-bit Sega or Super Nintendo, whatever you wanna do. And then we just pixelate it. And that's gonna pixelate your scene. It's also going to set all of your layers to draft quality mode, which is very important because we want no anti-aliasing. We don't want smooth edges. We want nice sharp edges, and that is achieved by setting everything to draft quality mode. Now, if you have some pre-comps in here, like I do, I have three, I have the pixel robot and the trees and the mountains. What we need to do is make sure we go into each of those comps, pre-comps, and go ahead and use the set to draft quality tool here. So in this little drop down, we have add to flicker, remove to flicker, remove pixelated altogether, or set to draft quality. And what that's gonna do is set all these layers, either all layers or just selected layers to draft quality. So we're good in there. We can go to the tree, uh, tree comp and set everything to draft quality, as well as our little pixel guy and set everything to draft quality. You'll see that everything turns to nice sharp edges, no more smooth, anti-aliased edges, aliasing is our friend, and we can hop back into our main comp. You can see all of our pixelate settings here that we can adjust, so we can change this to like a lower pixel value, so we have a lot more pixel density here, and then we can RAM preview and see what this looks like. So the brand new function in the new version of Pixelate it is the deflicker tool. Now you can see that we have a nice, uh, pixelated animation, but we have all these dancing pixels. Now, if you're used to uh, using pixel art or video games in general, you know that pixels, uh, pixel elements in a scene are basically sprites. And as they move through a scene, you don't get this dancing flickering or anything like that. You have the pixel sprite and it moves through the scene and those pixels don't dance or change shape as it moves throughout the scene. So in this sun right here, you can see how these pixels are dancing. So what the new deflicker tool does, if we go to our action drop down here and say add to flicker, uh, we can also change it from all layers to just selected layers, but we actually wanna set this, uh, we wanna add deflicker to all layers. So we're gonna just hit the add to flicker tool, get rid of the uh, confirmation window, and we can RAM preview again. And you can see that right away our sun Remember the pixels, the edges were dancing on everything? No more, we got those dancing pickle, pixels and we kicked them out. We now have really nice sprite looking elements that are moving throughout our scene and looks way more like a video game, right? So that is the huge new feature added to the new version of Pixelate It. And I just wanna go over one more thing before we end this little demo and that is rendering. So the very important thing is that when we, you, when we apply pixelate effects to our scene, it automatically sets everything to draft quality mode. Now when we go to render, the one thing we need to keep in mind is when we go to our render settings, by default, your quality is set the best. And what that's gonna do is totally negate all those draft quality modes on your layers and change them to best. So we don't want that because that's gonna introduce that anti-aliasing and we're gonna get smooth edges that aren't gonna look very good at all. So what we need to do is when we render with Pixelate, we need to just change this quality to current settings and that's gonna use those draft, uh, draft mode quality layers that are applied to all of our layers and that's gonna maintain that draft quality, those nice sharp edges, all that aliasing, and then we're ready to render. So that in a nutshell, is the brand new features in the new Pixelated version 2. Hope you guys enjoy and have a lot of fun pixelating your animations.